Hi, I'm Jen, and uh, today we are going to be covering uh, the number one and the number two lines uh, of the frame. Right here like this, the same side arm with the same side leg, rear leg, I call this number one line. It's a number one line, you're feeling, okay, right? It's a strong one, okay? Now, face me. Elbow. Now, connection. Weight distribution. Now, angle change. Now, angle change your knee, angle change your knee. Now, see how the, op the rear foot is opposite of the front arm now. You see this? Okay. This is what I call number two line. So now, if you do everything right, and pull that shoulder back more. See, so your frame is square, right? Now, you relax your forearm. So now, if I push, it should still go to the rear foot. Yes, sir. Okay? But what's happening is it's going, it's entering your, 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 your body through your shoulder. It's coming down your spine, okay? And uh, because of your hips, it's, it's shooting over to the side and going down, right? So now, if you bow, you feel the same thing. Now you step forward. Yeah, you see, you feel it? That's the rear leg again. Okay, a little bit, you start to push over there. You see your weight? It's coming to the front leg. Okay? But it's okay. So, you have to have two lines. So, both elbows connected to one rear leg. So you make like the letter Y. Right? You understand? So if I go like this, and I keep this grab on this, right? Okay. Now, uh, give me a little bit of feedback. Good. Now, from here, I go weight distribution, right? Okay. And then I go angle change. And I angle change. Follow me. Right? Done. Right? So now, from here, if you push, push here, no, 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 no. Stretch here. If you push here, do you feel my rear leg? Yes, sir. Ready? My leg over here? Leg over there. If you push here, do you feel the same leg? Yeah. So two arms connected to one rear leg. You see? So now you have here. All right. So uh, let's go back a little bit. All right. So the number one and number two line and the difference. Okay. So when um, the first line that we've been working on is uh, usually there. Okay. So it would be uh, my right foot um, is is uh, to the rear, right? Uh, and my right hand is the arm that's forward, okay? So when uh, you have the, um, when you're using the right, uh, the same side uh, arm and elbow uh, and leg to the rear leg, okay? That I call the number one line, okay? Um, and the number two line is just the opposite. So now you see here, my left arm is, uh, is out, right? Um, so, but at the same time, my right leg is the rear leg, okay? So it's opposite. So my left arm and my right leg uh, the rear leg, okay? So when you have that, I call that the number two line, all right? And, um, but it doesn't matter ultimately because both arms, when they're out, right? My left arm is out and my right arm is out, okay? Both lines will eventually both lead to the rear leg, okay? If everything is gap free, right, and uh, your skeleton, your skeletal, your body frame is um, is uh, positioned correctly, uh, then you are going to have that uh, that effect of both arms going to one leg, okay? And when you have both arms going to one leg. Uh, from here, let's say uh, if I was facing, right? If you could, if I was facing the camera, right? Then it would be like a Y effect. It would be both uh, both arms out, going to one leg, 
Okay? So, alter, it would be like that. Let's, let's do it like that. Okay? To the, to the rear leg. Okay? So, it makes the letter Y. Almost like the letter Y. If I was facing the camera. Right? Okay? Um, hopefully, that makes sense to you. Okay? So, uh, both both arms, both elbows, okay, leading to one rear leg, okay? Um, and let's get two two. arms connected to one rear leg. You see? So now you have here, right? So now if I step forward like this, it's always a lot of power in both hands. Okay, so that movement, okay, this is now, this is not building the frame anymore, okay? What you're seeing me do now is uh, uh, stage two, which is after we develop the frame, then we start to learn how to move the frame, okay? So uh, when you see me uh, moving, all right, uh, what you're seeing is my body frame, all right? You're going to see from here to my knees, right, and out to my elbows. As I'm moving uh, uh, and advancing my frame, you see that you're going to see my body frame doesn't move. There, I, it's gap free. Everything's good. So that when I start advancing forward with leverage, right, you're going to see that um, that frame never moves. There's, I do not create any gaps as I'm going. And you're also going to see my weight distribution, okay, is always going to be uh, in my rear leg, okay? So... Uh, if I did everything correctly, you should not see me, you should not see my weight starting to go towards the front leg, right? Like that, okay? Because then I would be uh, not rear wheel drive, I w this would be rear wheel drive, okay? If my weight is going to the front, that means my hip will rotate and my weight will come uh, forward. That now I am front wheel drive, okay? And front wheel drive is really good if you're athletic and very fast, like Bruce Lee, he was very, very front wheel drive, right? <laughs> but he's blazing fast. Uh, but when you're slow like me, <laughs> okay, you got to use rear wheel drive. Okay, so let's take a look here. All right. Let me just slow it down. And you're going to see that my body frame. Exactly. So you can see that my body frame is very, very consistent. I'm very square. I'm not rotating any, uh, uh, I'm not rotating and creating gaps. Okay. My frame is just levering. It's, I call this frame with leverage and I'm just moving forward. Okay. Um, all right. And uh, let's back up one more time. You guys can take a look and we'll continue from here. Step forward like this, it's always a lot of power in both hands. You see that? Okay. This is important again, especially if you're grappling. You know? Because if you're on the ground like this, and you're over here, okay? And you're on your knees in my half guard. Mm -hmm. Okay? Knee down. So you're here like this, right? Okay. I need, when you go to hug my head, right? Hug, I need both hands, right? A lot of times, both hands, right? So when I have both hands like this, see that? Okay. Okay, now push it, push into this hand. No, no, no. Just push straight in, okay? You see that? Push. It's going in, you feel it? It's going towards this hand and into my foot. Now I'm going to let go, right? Okay, now from, from here. Now, push into the shoulder. You feel it going to the same place. Yes. Push. You feel it there? You feel it there? Yeah. You see? So I'm doing the same exact thing. Okay, so let's back up here a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> now, you see when I asked Tuan first, right, to pressure me uh, with, the bot or with, the, with his right arm into my frame. But <clears throat> he's... Uh, uh, what what you should be doing is giving feedback, honest, uh, straight feedback, right? Simple feedback, a little bit of pressure. But <clears throat> what happened was he's uh, not giving me straight feedback. He's actually challenging me, okay? 
Um, and he didn't mean to, okay? He doesn't know he's doing that. <clears throat> but instead of giving me like straight pressure towards me, he's actually uh, starting to push my arm like different directions, right? <laughs> okay? And trying to get around my arm. So now this is no longer developing something. Now this is basically just, we are rolling, okay? He's challenging my frame. Okay, right now, <clears throat> especially in the developing stages, we do not want to challenge each other. We want to help each other by using uh, simple feedback so that the partner can feel where that feedback is going into his body and where it's traveling and how he can redirect it. And he's looking to investigate inside his body, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, uh, in this uh, position, in this half guard position, and when, while I'm on bottom... To me, it makes no difference if I was standing or I'm on the ground, okay? The uh, the top leg, though, you, it's hard to see in this position, but, okay, my top, uh, my top knee, okay, right here, right, right there, whoop, 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 okay, I'm still learning how to use this app, <laughs> okay, but basically, my top knee, you cannot see it, but it's up here, <clears throat> and it's acting like a knee shield, okay? Now, that leg is super important. That knee is uh, is super important, right? It's a blocker, okay? My feet are connected to each other in the back, okay? Again, it's hard to see, but my foot is on top of my other foot, okay? They're not crossed, okay? I'm just closing the bridge back there, all right? And... <clears throat> Uh, as uh, Tuan gives me pressure into my arm here, right? Okay, he pushes into my arm, all right? I'm, uh, because I have a, a gap-free frame, what's happening is it's going into my arm and into um, my, uh, uh, down my spine, right? It's going into my body and then down my spine and then it's going into uh, the top uh, top leg, okay, so <clears throat> I'm creating a line, again, I'm creating a really, uh, this would be a number two line, because my top leg is acting as my rear foot, but the pressure is coming in to my bottom hand, right here, right, so the force is entering there, so that line is number two, it's a number two line, okay, does uh, hopefully that makes sense? No, no, no. Just push straight. In, okay. You see that? Push. It's going in. You feel it? It's going towards this hip and into my foot. Now I'm gonna let go. Right? Okay. Now from from here. Now push into the shoulder. You feel it going to the same place. Okay. Right there. Okay. I switched hands. Right. So now I'm using my top hand. Okay. And it's the same side as the top knee, right? Top leg. So that is a number one line, right? So force is coming into that arm and then re being redirected right down to uh, to that rear leg, which is happened, which is in this position is going to be the top leg. Okay. To the shoulder, you feel it going to the same place. Push. You feel it there. You feel that? It's, yeah. you see? So I'm doing the same exact thing. If I go like this, now push here. You, no, no, push straight into me. You, no, no, just straight toward my ass. Yes. You see how you're collapsing me? And I go here, push, push. It's, this is not going to work. But if I make a line, now this hip and that my, my top foot is connected to my elbow and my elbow. See, so now if I if I bow here, it bows my elbow. So if you if you push, I bow. See, you feel a lot of power, right? Or here, you push, I bow. See, you run into a wall, right? So now I have power again. Two arms connected to one leg. That see, so if my bottom leg, I don't even need it, but my top leg becomes my rear leg. You see that? So now here, I'm like this. Yeah, so now my bottom, I can recover, do all this kind of stuff. But you understand that? So that you can experience it, right? Half guard. So this top leg in this.
this jujitsu grappling position is the, rear leg. is the rear leg. I know it's a little bit confusing because it's on top, but it is the rear leg. Okay? You close the loop onto your heel so that there's uh, the, the top foot is connected on top of your ankle. Exactly. Right? So, but your feet are not touching the ground, right? Okay? Right? So if we uh, spin, 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 spin. Then, do like this. Then, see your feet? They're not on the ground. Right? But they close the loop, right? And your knee is in front of me. You see this? So, when I push into you and you bow your hips, I'm the ground for you. I'm the stable then. You understand? Yes, sir. That's how come you don't need the floor. Because as I'm trying to pressure you, I become the stable thing for you. I'm the floor. Or you, in this case, you could say, I'm a wall. So. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you can see right here, right? Tuan has got his, his uh, foot on top, his top foot, and he puts it in, on top of his. Uh, bottom uh, ankle, right, to close the loop. You see they're not, his ankles are not crossed, right? Okay, so he just closes the connection there, right? You can clearly see his his uh, knee shield, right, um, in front of my chest, uh, using that as a blocker, right? Okay, and uh, <clears throat> uh, in this position that Tuan's in, um, I'm acting as the floor or the stable environment that he can use so that any pressure that comes into him, right, uh, it's going to go down his spine if he's, everything's done correctly, right? It's going to go down his spine and it's actually going to enter into my body since I'm the stable thing, right? And then it's going to go down my legs and then it's going to go into the ground, Okay. So, uh, that's how come uh, Tuan's feet in this half guard position, you don't, he actually does not need his feet on the mat, on the ground. He, as long as he's, he's connected to me and I'm stable, uh, then I act as a temporary, temporary ground for him. That's a tough word. Temporary <laughs> ground for uh, Tuan. <laughs> So the more I try to like pull you, the easier it is for you to frame against my my own uh, body. Right? It's when I go like this and I retreat, you don't like this feeling anymore. Right? But then this, then there's no pressure on you, right? So then you can sit up and, and yeah, it's exactly okay. So now you're free to move, right? So this is uh, why we do this. Okay? You're making me the stable thing. Okay. Sometimes your partner becomes the stable floor or the wall for you. Okay. You understand? Right. Now, go back, spin, spin, spin. Okay. Now, you're going to close the loop. Okay. You've got a good knee shield. All right. Okay. And the knee shield can be at my shoulder, it can be across my chest, pointing to my other shoulder, or it can be even collapsed on my hip. They're all good, okay? So wherever you feel comfortable, okay? Right? Now, from here, okay, yeah, you see how this be is becoming more and more stable. You feel it? Yes. That's why this is the rear leg, okay? So now, let's say you're brought in, bring, bring some, okay, good. Okay? Now, I'm trying to hug your head, right? Okay, so you're going to turn your body frame. Good. Tuck your tailbone. See that? Now, you're on my shoulder and usually on my elbow or on my wrist. Okay, so I gave him an, <clears throat> him an adjustment, right? Which is, I told him to uh, turn his uh, turn his hips and or his body frame, right? So I told him to rotate this way, so you can see <clears throat> his uh, hip line, his hip line and his shoulder line. Okay, are not straight up and down anymore, right? They're going to be angled a little bit, okay. Uh, and that's what you want. You do not want to be straight up and down with your body frame, okay, in, uh, in this position, okay. You actually want a slight angle in your shoulders and in your and in your um, your hips, <clears throat> right, so that they are at this 
uh, this little bit of an angle toward your partner, <clears throat> okay? And that's going to prevent uh, you from being uh, uh, pushed and making that shoulder fall back to the ground, making you flat, okay? Well, that would not be good, right? <clears throat> Okay, so there's a good uh, shot of that would be a number one line, right? Which is the uh, same side, same side arm <clears throat> where pressure's invading, and also the using the rear leg. It's on the same side, right? That's the number one line, right? And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, if he was using the bottom hand, then that would be right uh, here. And then. Uh, to the top leg, that would be opposite, right? Opposite arm, opposite leg, rear leg, and that would be number two line, okay? It is entering my body and then going into the floor over here for, for you. You see that? So I'm the connection. You've connected your body to me, and then you, the force is now, right? Uh, uh, I'm ex an extension of your skeleton now. Yes. Because your your power is coming back into me, and it's going into the lowest point. So I'm you're con I'm connecting you to the floor. Yes, sir. You, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, okay. And now turn your frame. Yes. Now let's say you get rid of this one, and you just use that. Okay. So now you bow again, and you bow your elbow. Because again, I cannot get close to you. You see that? Okay. Even you don't even have to move much. Just a little bit of hip in and bow your bow your hip and bow your elbow. That's it. That's enough. You see, you see how I cannot go straight in you anymore. Okay. So uh, back up. Uh, whoops. Wrong way. Back up a little bit. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> he's rotating his. Uh, his middle fulcrum is of his body frame, that is the uh, hip joints, right? So he's rotating his hip joints, and that's causing separation of his, uh, his shoulders and his knees, right? So that's causing uh, separation. And at the same time, right, the, since the elbow is a part of the body frame, the elbow is also uh, rotating, right? And that's going to cause separation between the shoulder and the hand, right? So that the elbow is the middle fulcrum there, okay? It's not, don't, mis, uh, don't misunderstand this as the, um, as the hand and the hand pushing out, okay? That would be moving joints and that would be just basically shoulder, right? Shoulder uh, power <clears throat> and arm power which is not as efficient, right? Okay? So rotating versus moving again, right? Don't move your don't move your uh, joints. Rotate your joints to get uh to get a lot of uh, to build to create a lot of efficient force. I cannot go straight into you anymore. You understand? Okay, so I'm the connection. You've connected your through the arms, connecting it to the t to rear leg, which is bridged and connected to me, right? And you're connect, and I'm connecting you to the ground. That's how come you can have this without your feet on the ground. Does that make sense? I go to hug. Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, you just bridge into your hips. Yes, you bow and you bow. Put your hips. All right, relax. Get your spine straight. Okay. So that now, if I push, right, there's no place for it to go other than down, okay? Now, yes, okay, now, bow. Yeah, you feel that? So if you feel the same thing here, you feel the same thing here, right? It's, it's all going to the same place. If you start to turn that in towards me and fight, you feel it, you feel it, it's coming to the front. Now you're gonna start activating the shoulder. Okay, so right there, <clears throat> I had uh, Tuan uh, do it wrong, 
Well, I don't say wrong. Okay, I had him do it <clears throat> uh, from rear wheel drive. You see, he's rear wheel drive. Okay, right there. <clears throat> and I asked him to uh, bring his weight distribution to the front and rotate his uh, hips, right? Uh, clockwise, right? That way. Okay. <clears throat> and by rotating his hips uh, uh, in that direction, right? Then what's happening is his weight distribution will come to the front leg, okay? No longer in the back leg, right? So you can see, <clears throat> as I continue, see, his hip is going to start to rotate. And now you see he is in the front leg, His okay? Um, and uh, this is what I call front wheel drive, right? So now if I give Tuan, uh, Tuan pressure into the hands, into the arms, either arm, right? He ha Now that force is, is going to invade that gap in the front, in the front of his hip, Okay? Um, and it's going to start to feed through that hip and it's going to start to want to go up through him like that and towards the floor. All right. <clears throat> and, uh, because Tuan has no back leg there, all right, he's going to be, he's going to feel off balance. What he's going to want to do is rotate even more and lean into me many, even more to counter that force. Or he's going to have to take that. Uh, his left leg, his front leg, and he's going to have to step back and make it a rear leg, okay, and stop uh, to, to handle that force, okay? So uh, that's the difference between front wheel drive and rear wheel drive, okay, is basically uh, rear wheel drive, uh, you're just using the back leg, right? Uh, you're, you're, all the force is going into the back leg, right? Where front wheel drive right you're uh you're rotating the hip and your weight distribution going to the front leg right so that you can one get more rotation you're going to be able to uh get more rotation of the hips you're going to be able to rotate the shoulders more you're going to be able to lengthen your arms get more distance so all these uh when you're when you're dealing with someone who's speed and athleticism okay these are all really good for him right or her right but when you are slow <laughs> like me and uh, then you have to rely on the back leg okay and not the front leg okay it's coming to the front now you're going to start activating the shoulder right okay Does this make sense so this one here opposite of the rear leg is number two line this one here, same side, number one. Okay? That means too that, look, brought my uh, here. Okay? So if you push, you can feel number one line. Okay? If you push here, you feel number two line. Right? Okay? But that means that if I have, go ahead, if, I, if, I can, if, it, if I'm stable in this environment, then my one front leg is free. Right? That means I can do something with my leg. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So on the ground again, let's go back to the half. But it's standing. I can keep you right. Yeah. But on the ground now, this is your rear leg, right? Okay. Angle your your hips. Align it. Yes. Tuck your tailbone. Good. All right. You feel that? Now you're going to engage. Engage. Bow your hip. Bow your hip. Yes. You feel that? Okay. More. 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 More, 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 more. So separation, you feel that? So your bottom leg is free, you feel it? Yes. Now just bring your knee, but you cannot let the, the pressure, you, as you do this, you cannot lose that line because it's supporting you right now. Yes. You understand? You understand? So I'll keep pushing you, see? But you're, look, look, you can put it on my hip. You, yeah, you can put it on my knee, you can come into my hip. You can, now you can square up, put it on my, on, on my shoulders. Yeah. See, the bottom leg is free to do it. Okay, so that is really an important thing that I just talked about is as <clears throat> as he's trying to pull his leg out right there, okay, <clears throat> it's super important that he does not lose this line that he has now, okay, right? All the way down uh, his from the shoulder, to the hip to the knee okay and he's again he's using 
me as the ground, right? Like that. Okay. If if his hip, his hip, right? Okay. If his hip, right, right there, or his his hip, if it uh, goes backwards, if it retreats and he starts to bend his hip that way, okay, then he's going to have a problem, okay, in this position because. Now I'm going to start to invade that that bend in his hips and it's it's going to start to collapse him. Okay? So when he's taking his bottom leg uh out, right? He must maintain this very strong line and connection to me, okay? Um put it on my hip. Yeah, you can put it on my knee. You can come to my hip. You can now you can square up, put it on my my shoulders, yeah. See, the bottom leg is free to do whatever it wants because the top leg is supporting all of your frame, right? And so now it's it's easy to 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 support that uh, or regain your your uh, your guard. Okay. Well, that was a long video, I know, but uh, there was a lot of. Um, uh, good stuff when it rela- you know that relates to my uh, method and hopefully you're starting to see that how I see things which is you know it doesn't matter whether you're on your feet or you're on the ground right the method you see uh, I see things from the same perspective right I see things uh, I see things as body frames you know uh, fulcrums levers you know, I'm using connection, weight distribution, and angle change uh, to create a body frame. And it doesn't matter if, what orientation my body is in, okay? Whether it's standing, on my knees, on the ground. To me, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's all the same to me, right? Um, so hopefully you're starting to see that correlation, right? It, it, I'm not showing you like, uh, you know... Uh, if you're standing, then you would do this, right? But then if you're on the ground, then you would do something different. You would do this technique, right? Um, this is not what I'm about. Uh, you can see how the connection, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to teach you guys is all the key fundamentals, but not the fundamental techniques. I'm teaching you fundamental body mechanics, okay? And uh, that way... Uh, once you really, really, really start to get an understanding of that, it doesn't matter if you're standing, you're on your knees, or you're on the ground. As long as you start to really start to develop an understanding of your body frame and, and, and an awareness of your body frame, right? And how to uh, handle and redirect and build pressure uh, efficiently, right? Uh, you, then you'll start to understand like, okay, this is a unified method. It's a unified method to understand frames and fulcrums and levers so that you ultimately uh, can handle and create big pressure efficiently, no matter where you're at. Then you can add that to any technique, right? any technique, and you're going to, uh, to make that movement more efficient just by adding these fundamental key uh, fundamental, uh, uh, fundamental things uh, of body mechanics, body mechanics, right, um, into your techniques, and you'll instantly uh, start to feel more efficient. All right. So, thank you for listening. I know it was a long one, <laughs> but uh, hope you uh, bear with it. I hope you got something out of it. Keep practicing, guys, and I will talk to you guys soon.